I'm WebFox, and welcome back to Fit to Read. And here's the comics that I picked up over the past so so time, so so something or other. From IDW is Infestation Star Trek issue 2, where it starts off with Kirk, Spock, and McCoy managing to get to the last building that has power and closing the door just in time to avoid a zombie horde. But the door won't last long, and what they find inside is a group of sentient robots and how the plant became infested with zombies. Very good read, from what they give of the backstory of how the plant became infested, seems like they could have had a third issue there with more action. This is good, it's okay for four bucks an issue, it would have been better if it was cheaper. Also from IDW is Infestation G.I. Joe Issue 1. This issue starts off with some Cobra agents ambushing some G.I. Joe agents transporting a damaged robotic arm. Not much action is here, it's just set up to lots of action to the second issue. So far there's no zombies, but there are some infected robots, and as you see later on in the issue, some animals with cybernetic implants do also get infected, causing a lot of trouble for the Cobra soldiers in the base. Nearly worth the four dollars, but maybe the second issue will be better. From Marvel, it's Marvel Zombies Supreme Issue 1 of 5. In this issue, a group of Marines go to a military base that's got shut down. As they enter it, they find Squadron Supreme zombified waiting for them. What can some regular Marines do against a group of superheroes that are also zombies? Well, not really much. It's okay. Not really worth the four dollars. On to the second issue though, it does get more action packed. As this issue starts out with one of the members of the zombie fied Squadron Supreme escaping from the military base and goes out on a nice little eating rampage. Which I must say, there's a couple cool panels of this zombie superhero fighting a plant superhero. Yes, they did a plants versus zombies reference. I liked it. Second issue, I think, is better than the first issue, but four bucks is still pricey. From my scene of the previous issues, three and four look all right, so I might pick those up. Moving on to my favorite, of course, it, from Archie, it's Sonic the Hedgehog, issue 222, where Sonic and Sally tried to get back to their old ways before they broke up, so way back when. And while they're trying to do this, the kingdom is divided on whether to trust the city to live in anymore. The villains get ready to make their move, and in a side story, Knuckles finds out that Dimitri is still alive and is inside the city, and he takes it pretty well. On to Sonic issue 223, Negus and St. John reveal themselves, claiming that they're the good guys here, here to save him from the evil city. They do pretty short work of not getting hurt, but apparently hurting the freedom fighters. And meanwhile, meanwhile, Eggman is preparing his grand plan for the upcoming issue 225. As you can see in the side story of him getting a Chaos Emerald, that is never a good thing. Then in Sonic the Hedgehog, Issue 224 featuring Eggman on the cover saying, I'm back. Freedom Fighters versus St. John. Sonic and the Council of Acorn against Negus. As the two sides fight, the good guys are not too sure they should keep fighting the bad guys. We would just rather hear them out, even though they know that the bad guys are in the wrong. While this is going on, Eggman's plans are finally in motion as he launches his ultimate weapon. In Sonic Universe issue 26, Silver is ambushed by the robotic duplicates of the Chaotix in this alternate timeline. He's rescued by this dimension's freedom fighters and finds out that Enerjack is in control of the entire planet and that these freedom fighters are the last survivors. Lots and lots and lots of action, beautiful artwork, and, and as you can tell by the two main stars of this story arc, this is going to be epic. In issue 27 of Sonic Universe, Silver and Enerjack go hand to hand while the freedom fighters go against the robotic chaotics. Freedom fighters are quickly dealt with with only one surviving member and Silver to stand for the right of good while Enerjack finally gets his hands dirty of going in and shaking the planet. Lots of action in issue 26, but in 27, it gets serious. In issue 28, we'll see the climax of this story arc. Kind of makes you question, who will survive? And from Image is The Walking Dead, which I picked up issues 82, 83, and 84. I'm just going to have to say, I'm not going to talk about these. They are very good, but I don't want to spoil anything. And also, that this is a horrible spot to start jumping on. It looks like 85 will be good for new readers, or something like that. But I just must say, you have to start at a much earlier point than where we are now because just it just keeps happening 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 not stopping